I, I just got this brand new, let me see, can I put this on mute? I did, all right. Are we good to go? We're good to go. All right, oh, very nice. good. Okay, so how many of you guys actually do have something that looks like this? Raise your hand. I very do. good, all right, so what do we want to do? Shut them off. Do we want to shut them off, put them on mute, put them on stun, absolutely. This is actually my brand new one, right guys, it's brand new. So, so it's, it's, it's always cool when you get a brand new one and it's just, you know, two years more newer technology. Welcome to everybody on Facebook. We've got Tim here on the camera. Uh, so if, if you have any comments, so greetings, let's give it up for Tim. All right, let's give it up. All right. and, and, and also let's give it up for Corey, our host. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we got okay, okay. Dave Harrison watching and Barbara oh. Gil Gilchrist. Okay, great, great, great. I wish you guys were here, ladies and gentlemen, right? So it's great to have you guys joining us. And we're going to have an amazing 90 days, 90 minutes this morning. So the, again, the first thing we do is we're going to be turning off our phones. And the second thing is we always want to remind ourselves that we are a mastermind. So what's the word? Mastermind. Thank you. It's a mastermind. And, and Tim, you know, you've been here enough times. You, you should have a pretty good idea. What's what in your, in your own words, definition of a mastermind? Where one or more minds get together in the same synergy and energy with the same common goals. Absolutely, man. That's beautifully said. So, uh, uh, so again, a mastermind is any time two or more minds come together in a spirit of harmony. And how, how many of you guys would agree that harmony is a certain energy? That's right. Right. Uh, it's a certain, it's a certain vibration. How many would agree? So, if a, if a bunch of minds all come together and they're vibrating at that exact same frequency, and it's a very high frequency. Then, then the end result is the synergy, the power, the wisdom, the knowledge, the ideas, the inspirations that come because we're all together doing this all together is far greater than if like we were just reading a book on our own. How many would have been? Absolutely. Okay. And, the, and, and the thing is, is that we all need to participate. So what's the word, guys? Participate. Yeah, and if you're not here and you're watching, you still are more than welcome to participate because at the end of the day, how you do anything is how you do everything. How many would agree? Right? And I hope you agree at home. So you know what? While you're while you're investing your time here, why not play it 100 percent? I mean, really That's right. Because if you can do this in here, then then you can also do it out there. Isn't that true? Yeah. But if you're only playing at 50 percent in here, you know what I can guarantee you're doing out there? You're playing at what? 50 percent. Less. <laughs> less than 50 percent. And you know, and and I, I will I will say this. I, I will definitely definitely say this is that personal development, the kinds of stuff we talk about on Tuesday mornings, is kind of like taking vitamins. And I know lots and lots of people that will take vitamins for six months or eight months, and then they say, ah, you know, I've taken vitamins eight months. I don't need to take vitamins anymore. The truth of the, the fact of the matter is, when do we need to be taking vitamins? Good morning. Come on in. Welcome. Good morning. Daily. So, daily, right? Okay. Daily. So the learning process never ends. How many of you guys would agree? Right? Okay. Yes. The learning process never ends. And never. so for us, you know, I would say one of the reasons why someone like Brian Ponciano has, has become so successful, and you, you guys, everybody, you guys know Brian. Do right? you happen to know Brian Pontiano by any chance? I okay, so, do. Okay, so but Brian is one of these guys that understands that you need to hear this information repeatedly, over and over and over and over. You know, he's in Guatemala with his one and a half year old son, yep, and I he's see. showing pictures of his little guy, right? I see. Yeah. yeah. Pulling, pulling his own suitcase behind him, it's like priceless. Is that yeah. it? And if Brian is watching by any chance down in Guatemala, hey, we miss you, buddy, right? But the thing about Brian is he's one of the few people I know that made a commitment to himself that he was never going to stop coming. He was never going to stop learning. He was going to just keep coming again, and even if he heard the stuff three or four or five or six or eight or 10 or 15 times, he knew that in order for it to really get into his DNA, that he just had to keep hearing it over and over. And, and what did Brian do? First, he, then he brought Jonathan, right? And Jonathan, I don't know, I'm not sure where Jonathan is. Jonathan should be here, right? But, yeah. but he, he, and, and then his kids started coming. And so, you know, he, he, really, he really gets it the way I get it, the way I hope you guys get it. Personal development, the stuff we're talking about here is like, it's like, it's like I don't want to use the word steroids, because their steroids kind of have a negative connotation. 
but it's kind of like your booster to really get you to your success. How many would agree? Right? For sure. And, and, and what, one of the things that we always talk about, at least I always talk about, is, is this whole idea that, that We're here, we're here for a couple of reasons. So let me ask you guys a couple of questions. How many of you guys would really like to have a whole lot more money in your life? Absolutely. Okay, good. And how many would like to have a whole lot more happiness in your life? Absolutely. And how many would like to have a whole lot more both in your life? Absolutely. Okay, good. So that's why we're here on Tuesday mornings, right? We're here because really, we, we would really honestly and truly love to have a lot more money and happiness and success in our life. Sure, sure. How many Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Good morning, ladies. It's so wonderful to see you two beautiful ladies. Thank morning, you for joining morning. us. So, so really, the reason we're here is, is exactly for that reason, right? Now, the first thing I do is we kind of have some rituals here. And one of the rituals is, you know, we talked about this idea. Woody Allen really made it famous. He said 80% of all success is just showing, showing up. up, right? Showing up. So if you want, you should pat both your neighbors on the back and say congratulations. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. 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 All right. Uh, have a seat. All right. And congratulations to you guys if you're watching. And, and again, if you have any comments, you know, you can play along at 100% because this is really a mastermind. And even though you're not here in person, you definitely can be here in mind and spirit and emotionally, right? I mean, how many of you would agree that if you can't be here in person, the next best thing is to play it 100% from wherever you are? Yes. That's right. So, so really, it, it, you know, it's, it's your opportunity to get 90 minutes of personal development training in. Unlike any other personal development training you will get anywhere, in my opinion, in the world. In the world. I, I, you know, Brian's on. If you want to say hi in Guatemala. Oh, there he is. Okay, well, I, you know, yeah. blessings, blessings, and King Leon is amazing, man. You are doing like such a fantastic job, and we're, we're sending positive vibes out. And I, I, Brian, I don't know if you were on earlier when I was saying that. I think one of the reasons that you are so you're you're you're, you're creating such amazing success for yourself and happiness is that you you understood that personal development is like it never ends. It it just you got to get into it. You got to get in line and stay in line. How many would agree that you just have to get in line and stay in line? And even if you've heard the same darn things over and over and over and over and over again, repetition is the mother of learning. learning. How many would agree? Repetition is the mother of learning, right? And and so we need to hear things sometimes, many many times, and then maybe the three hundred and fifty seventh time you hear it, boom, clicks. It clicks. How many guys want to talk? And, and that's why you need to hear it again and again, because I promise you, at some point, it's going to click. It's definitely going to click. And I was saying before, before we went live that in the last 60 days, uh, what I have seen is, is I, I truly, 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 in my heart and my soul, I understand why 98% of all people struggle and fail. I do. And, and, and it's become more obvious to me in, in the last 60 days than ever. And a lot of it actually has to do with LinkedIn and Ira. So, you know, it, it, because what, I, what I've learned in the last 60 days interacting with lots and lots and lots and lots of business people and professionals is their blueprint. And what's the key word, guys? Blueprint. Yeah, their blueprint, absolutely. Because really, how many of you guys would love to become financially free? Be honest. Yeah, what, and what's the definition of financial freedom? Well, you guys are veterans here, and if you know it at home, type it in. Being able to do whatever you want and not having to work and money still keep coming in passively. Okay, okay I, I like that. Okay, but does anybody else want to add anything to that? Denise? Live the lifestyle you desire without having to work or depend on others. Yeah, that's right. So financial freedom is, is financial freedom is the ability to live the life. You should write this down, by the way. You should be able to say this off the top of your head, because that way, when I'm talking about financial freedom, I want for you in your brain to know what I'm talking about. I don't want your definition of financial freedom. I want you to learn my definition. Does that make sense, to everybody? Yep. Yeah, because you know what we talk about every single Tuesday: financial freedom. So I want to make sure that when I'm talking about financial freedom, you're vibrating at the same wavelength I am. 
Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Right? We're all tapped in, tuned in together at, at what we're, financial freedom is. The ability to live the lifestyle I desire. How many want to be able to live the lifestyle you desire? Lifestyle I desire. Without having to work. Without having to work, that's pretty important, right? Or rely on anyone else for income. So in other words, you're not just depending on Social Security. That's the definition. The ability to live the lifestyle you desire without having to work or rely on anyone else for your income. So the first thing is, is would you do most people even know how much money they would need to have coming in every single month after taxes, that if they had that amount of money to live on every month, they'd say, that's great, man, I'm free. Do you think most people know what that number is? No. Okay, so how can you get something if you don't even know what it is? How many would agree? Yeah. Clarity leads to power. Let me hear you say that, guys. Clarity, Clarity leads to power. Again, please. Clarity leads to power. Okay, so financial freedom is when you have enough money coming in every single month without you having to work that, that pays for your desired lifestyle. Now, there are people out there I know that if they had $2,000 a month coming in without them working, that's good. There are other people I know where if they didn't have at least $25,000 a month coming in, <laughs> that's bad. Right? Yes. And there's everything in between. Well, who's right? Nobody. Everybody. But whatever, yeah. whatever lifestyle, you know, if somebody says, hey, I don't need to be driving a, a, a brand new Lamborghini. I can drive a, I can. Hey, Nantara, it's great to see you. Oh he says, he says, he says, I'm just as happy driving a five-year-old Toyota. I don't need to be driving a brand new Lamborghini. And, and I don't be, need to be eating at Ruth Chris Steakhouse five nights a week, right? There are, <laughs> but there are some people, because here's the, here's the rule. Good morning, good morning. Here's the rule, guys. The higher your financial freedom number is, the longer it takes you to get there. Yep. The lower your financial freedom number is, the faster you can get there. And what's amazing is people say, well, I need, to, I need to be a millionaire. Actually, you know what? There's a lot of people where if they were making, if they had five or six thousand dollars coming in every single month, every month, five or six thousand dollars. Hey, 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 greetings, greetings, let me give you a hug. <clears throat> Great to see you. You get the haircut? Wow, man. All right. So, there, how many would agree? There's a lot of people out there. If they had five or six thousand dollars a month of passive income, they would be free. And, and what if I said to you, if you focus, what's the word? Focus. 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 For the next 12 to 24 months, that would be a piece of cake. And the key word is to focus, focus. on a system. What's the word? System. And once you find that system, you're golden. And if your goal is is to be is to be earning five or six or seven thousand dollars of <laughs> passive residual income in the next twelve to twenty-four months, how many of you would be willing to be reprogrammed? What's the word? Reprogrammed. Be that person. Yes. Did you yes. currently are? Yes. True, true. True. If you were that person, wouldn't you be doing it right now? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Why aren't you doing it right now? Not that person. Not that You're not that person. And there's three critical elements. How many? Three. How many? Three. three. And you need to tattoo this to your DNA. Is that important? Right. Three critical ingredients. And they form the triangle. You guys have seen this before. Yep. RV. It's even part of our the content of the two percent club logo. It is. It is the Super Saiyan Club logo. It right? is. Our V, R, K, and R. Why? What does R, V stand for? Right vehicle. Right vehicle. How many of you guys want to be making five, seven, ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month passive residual income in the next 12, 24 months? Then do you need to be in a vehicle that's going to allow that to happen? Yep. Are you in that vehicle right now? If yep. you're not, then you need to start looking around and saying, what, where are those vehicles? that I could be involved in that, that will give me that opportunity. 
Now, I think we, we talk about that, in fact, on one, in one of the wealth calls, we talk about <coughs> being in the right vehicle, and that's all about trends. What's the word? Trends. Come on, twice as loud. Trends. And, yeah. A trend, right? What's in high demand? What's the word? High, high demand. demand. You want to get into something where the, it, there's a lot of demand for it. And what does demand mean? What's demand mean, guys? People want it. People want it. And you're willing to pay for it. Thank and you. And you're pay for it. Two parts. How many people want what you got? And how many, how many of them are willing to pay what you're asking? And everybody may want what you got, but they're not willing to pay you what you're asking. True or true? Yeah. Okay? And if it's in high demand, not only do people want it, they're willing to pay for it. True or true? True. Yeah, true. You gotta find something that's in high demand. What is something that a lot of people want solved right now? Are there a lot of people that right now that are looking for a second source of income? Yep. Raise your hand. Are there lots of them? Yeah. If you can help those people help create that second source of income, is there a lot of people that would be interested in talking to you? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because it's in high demand. Are, are some of these people want free? Yeah. Are some of them willing to pay? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Guess who are your clients? The ones that are willing to? Okay. Boom. Done. It's, it isn't complicated, guys. True or true? Yeah. Am I, am I exaggerating or is that the way it is? That's the way it is. That's the way it is, right? Okay. So first of all, you've got to have the right vehicle. And I guarantee you that we've been blessed. Every single one of you say, I'm blessed. I'm and blessed. And if you're at home, you should take the book. To be living in this in this era. Mm -hmm. Say it. To be living in this era. To be living in this era. Where the opportunities for me are endless. Opportunities are endless. I hope you believe that's true. There's... So many opportunities right now for you to go out there, find somebody else's product that you really love, be become an affiliate of theirs and sell millions of dollars of it. True or true? True. true. What, what's stopping any one of you from doing that? You know how much money it costs to get started up as an affiliate with somebody? Nothing. 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 And, and I would suggest, like, you know, I mean, when I was with Harvecker at Peak Potential, <laughs> All of our students were, were raving lunatic fans of ours because we were our best salespeople. <laughs> because they were a product of the. Product. They were what? Product. A product of the product. Let me hear you. Product. product of the product. Again. Product. product of the product. The best thing you will ever sell in your, own, in your whole life is something where you are a product of the product. You've used it, you love it, you believe in it, you know what works, and you want to share it with other people. True, true. 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 Like, I mean, that's just the way it is. And, and if you're not a product of the product, there's no way you can, you can share your belief system, your energy, because everything is vibrational. How many would agree? If you are the product of the product, you will not vibrate at the same level as when, when our, 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 our best, how many would agree that your best sales marketers are happy customers? Yes. Oh, yeah. they, you, yeah. know, you treated them great, you made them feel like a million bucks, they had the ultimate buyer's experience. What's the expression? Ultimate. Who's it up to to make sure that all of your customers have the ultimate buying experience? Me. Yeah, do you think most people really even think about creating an ultimate buying experience or they just want the transaction? They do. They don't think for a second about how important it is to learn how to build long-term relationships in something called the lifetime value of a customer. What's the expression? Lifetime value of a customer. Yeah. So, first, we are all blessed because there's a zillion vehicles out there right now that if your goal is five, seven, ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month of passive or residual income within twelve to twenty-four months, there's no doubt in my mind whatsoever you could do it. None. But for you to do it, you have to find something you're really passionate about, right? When we, when I was at Peak Potential, all of our raving lunatic fans, our students, they they wanted to let everybody else come to Har's events, and, and by the way. They bought something, hey, they made a commission from it. Good or good? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, absolutely, right? That's, and, and that's what we want to create here in Phoenix, by the way. Exact same thing. The kind of training that you guys get at the 2% Club and the kinds of things we intend to do in the very, very near future, I'm telling you, it's unbelievable. And, and, and I will say this, and, you know, and again, 
I, I have you to thank for it. I, I really, really do. Um, because, you know, I've known Ira Rose. How many of you guys know Ira? Anybody? Nobody knows Ira? Okay, all right. So uh, Ira has a company called Mojo Global. And, and um, he has really, over the last little while, um, managed and perfected how, how to effectively use LinkedIn to, to build a network. Now, how many would agree it would be a good idea for you to build your network? Why is it important to build a network? Why? Why is it important to build a network? Opportunity. What kind of opportunity? Business opportunity. What do you mean by business opportunity? You can, you can get someone to sell to and you can get someone to work with. Someone to sell to, right? Why else? Why else would you network? Maybe they don't need what you got. Why, why would you want to network with them? Build they, they tell other people. Yeah. Not, you may not need the product, somebody else Because you become the, like the per, the five closest people that you hang out with. Okay. So, so that's a good way to, to meet new people. Why else would you want to network? See, this is one of the reasons why ninety eight percent of all the people fail. They don't even understand why you should be networking. And you don't even know what networking is. They think networking is, is selling, which is not the truth at all. Mm -mm. Networking is building relationships with people so that they know you, like you, and trust you so that whether they need your product or service or not, they're gladly tell all their friends and associates about you because you're a genuinely nice person and they've gotten to come to know you. It has nothing to do with selling whatsoever, right? You know, you think that there is a system, and what's the word? System. Come on, twice a glass. System. To become incredible as a networker? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. If I, if I somehow network my way and I met and Terry's and, and over, over two or three phone conversations, wow, we are blessed and honored. Thank you so much for showing up to me. And, and now... You, you don't need what I got, but you know what? I, 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 I learned how to ask what's called feel-good questions. What are they called? Feel-good feel questions. What are they called? Feel-good yeah. questions. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think I could teach you how to ask feel-good questions? Yes. Yeah, yeah I would think it would take like all of five minutes. We're not going to do that today. We can do that in another training. But feel-good questions. Now, why would you want to ask somebody that you're just meeting feel-good questions? <laughs> yeah, when they feel good, and guess who they're going to associate that with? You. Yeah, okay, exactly. So if you ask feel good questions, they're going to be feeling good and they're going to associate that with you. You want to be around people that make you feel good? Yes. Yeah. Now, if, now, I'll teach you one of the most important questions you will ever learn if you want to become great at networking. And trust me, every single one of you right now, one of the biggest things holding you back is that all of you guys totally suck. What's the word? Suck. Uh, suck. Twice as loud, to be honest. Suck. Uh, at networking. With the right people. You suck at it. You do. You don't have a strategy for it. It's haphazard. You do it once in a while. You don't have a system for follow-up. You know, I'm telling you, in the last 60 days, you know, I started to mention Ira, right? Ira says to me, he says, look, we have this LinkedIn program. We have a full done-for-you service, and then we have what's called a done-with-you service. He says, I, wanna, I, I want for you to really check this out. He says, and, and I'll even help, I'll, I'll find you a, a virtual assistant, and she'll take care of, of taking care of the software. You don't have to learn anything. She'll take care of it. You'll pay her for a couple of hours a day. And what she'll do is, is you'll tell her who you want to reach out to on LinkedIn, and she'll take care of it for you. So, so I, I talk with her at, uh, on the phone, and, and she knows all about LinkedIn. And, and, and she says, well, you know, we, we have to change the profile. And so, so my whole profile got completely changed, because did you know that if you really want to be successful, people are going to go check you out. Right. It's not like on Facebook where you can find out where they work and where, what their duties were and what their skill sets are. LinkedIn, like Facebook is for social. How many would agree? You post on Facebook, here I am on vacation, woo woo, 
right? Uh, here's what I had for dinner tonight, right? <laughs> or my dog is sick, please pray. But this is true or true, this is what you see on Facebook, right? When you go on Facebook, are you thinking social or are you thinking business? Social. Social. When you go on LinkedIn, are you thinking social or are you thinking business? Business. It's a business networking platform. What is it? Business, business networking platform. If you want to be conducting business and you want to surround yourself with entrepreneurs and salespeople and business owners, where do you think you want to find these people? Because that's guess who's on LinkedIn. Guess what its purpose is? Networking. To network with other business owners, professionals, entrepreneurs, salespeople, right? Okay. So, uh, so you know, he said, so Iris says, well, first, you do it on your own. He says, I'll show you how to find, uh, you know, people in your database. So, I, I, I didn't even have a premium service. He said, you, have to, you can do this with your free basic service. It doesn't even cost you anything. Right? Free. So at the time I had like about five. This is this is only like 60 days ago. So in, in, in 60 days, I've gone. I I had about uh, 1,100 uh, people that I connected to on LinkedIn over a span of 10 years. Right. So over 10 years, I had 1,100 people. In the last 60 days, I added uh, 1,500 more people. Not just 1,500 random people. People that lived in Phoenix, Phoenix, because guess who I want to hang with? People that live in Phoenix, right? That, that were second level to me. Do you guys know what that means, second level? That means I don't know them, but I know somebody that does know them, mm -hmm. right? So these are, these are all strangers to me, but they live in Phoenix, and they're second level to me, and in their business title, it either said sales or entrepreneur, or business owner, or founder. And you know what I found when I, when I hit the, the button? Do you know how many thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people that I don't know that live in Phoenix, Arizona, that are, are in these categories? And guess who the kinds of people I want to hang out with are in these categories? So, LinkedIn doesn't just let you say, well, do a blast all 25,000 of them. They'll shut down your account. That, but what you can do is greetings, 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 Tab. What they will let you do is you can, every day, you can reach out to 50 to 75 of them. And there's a, there's a software, good morning there, good morning. So, good yeah, just uh, the, here, Tab, uh, Tab, the, the, the camera's right there. Bring good. Right. A little bit there over. you go. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. You make and, a better and, and so and so door every, door. every day, every day, mm -hmm. automatically. You know what? What I could do is I could pick somebody and send them a message, and the message, the message was, um, "Hi, Jonathan. You know, I saw your profile on LinkedIn, and as a fellow Phoenix entrepreneur, I love to network with like-minded people. Like, are you open to networking or maybe even collaborating? Cheers, Jeff. That's it." And, and every single day on LinkedIn, 75 or so Phoenix people on LinkedIn that fit these criteria, they get, I'm reaching out to them. It would be like if I went to a chamber of commerce meeting, because these are the kinds of people that would be at a chamber of commerce meeting, and I went up to 75 people each day and I'd say, hi, I'm Jeff, love to, great to meet you. I, I'd love to know if you'd be interested in maybe networking or, or maybe even collaborating. And so instead of me having to face all the rejection, people say, I don't know, you get the hell out of here. <laughs> the, the ones that are saying, sure, I'm always looking to network. I'm always looking to grow my network. I'd be happy to meet with you for a coffee. So instead of me having to go to a chain of commerce meeting and actually meeting 75 people every single day, I could just send this out to 75 people that fit my criteria, right? And, and, and uh, the, the problem that I had, and, and I'm going to be totally transparent, was I honestly believe that, you know, it probably would take about a month or so before I'd start seeing much of a response. And this was at the end of July, and as many of you guys know, I was in San Diego in August, and I was kind of like when? having fun. <laughs> I was enjoying, I was, I, I was on vacation, right? That's why you guys said you were speaking, because I was on vacation, right? I had no idea that it was kind of like turning on the faucet. 
Because as soon as greeting, 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 as, as, as soon as she began to send out, first, first they changed my profile. So before anything happened, my profile was completely changed. And I probably, I looked at all of your profiles right now. I probably could help every single one of you. I could probably describe your profile for you right now. So, you know, there, you have no idea how your profile can be a bold one, right? Because you, you can have people write a testimonial. They can say, I worked with Sonia, she's ethical, she's honest, she's hard work, which is a lot of fun. She was always dependable, she's the greatest person on the planet. In fact, if you want, I'll gladly write that for you, right? My pleasure. And now, if, if someone doesn't know you, and you reach out to them, and they say, well, let me check out Sonia here on LinkedIn, and they go to her profile, and they say, oh, 47 people have written these glowing, amazing recommendations for Sonia. I guess she must be real. Versus someone where you go to their profile, and they don't have any recommendations. A one. Right? Reputation management. What's the word? Reputation, Reputation management. management. Before someone even meets you, do you think they're going to check you out? If you reach out to them on LinkedIn, where do you think they're going to check you out? On LinkedIn. They're going to go to your profile. True or true? Yeah, true. Well, then guess what? There are systems, what's the word, systems. That, that either you can do or you can hire other people to do for you if you don't have the time or you don't want to learn how to do it to get, to get your profile up to snob. So when people check you out, they say, wow, I'd love to be an investment owner. Yeah, I love, love what she's looking at her, right? Or, yeah, I, 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 I'd, love, I'd love to know more about Tim. It looks like Tim's a mover shaper, right? It all depends on your profile. True or true? Okay, so, you know, most people, they know they're supposed to be on LinkedIn. They have no idea why. So they, they completely waste their time, and then they think that they're supposed to be selling. LinkedIn is a networking platform. What is it? Networking, yeah. networking platform. It's not a selling platform. Is there a difference between networking and selling? Yeah. 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 When you're networking, your goal is to get people to know you, like you, and trust you. There's a system for getting people to do that is to become genuinely nice, become really, really great at asking the right kinds of questions and being a great listener. How many of you guys could do that? Could you be a genuinely nice person? Not contrived, right? A genuinely nice person. Right now, you can be a genuinely nice person. If you can be a genuinely nice person, learn how to ask the right questions and be a good listener, you can get rich. That's all it is. Now, if you're meeting somebody for the first time, and you say, well, here's my card, you know, let's do business. That's not how you go network. I don't know you from Adam. I don't know if you suck at what you do. I don't even know if I like you. Before I even talk business, I'm going to ask feel good questions so the person that I'm talking to is going to feel, and they're going to feel good about me. So that by the time I do my follow-up with them, and by the way, this is another place where almost everybody I know fails. 98% follow up. Yeah. Follow up is everything. Yeah. It is. You know, it was it was Thomas Edison who said, genius. What's the word? Genius. 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. <clears throat> Ideas are great, but it's one thing to come up with a great idea, it's a whole different thing to manifest. It's true or true. Yeah. yeah. You think Thomas Edison discovered the light bulb the first time he attempted to, to, to experiment with it? You know how many failures he had? 10,000. <coughs> 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. Yeah. Great ideas are a dime a dozen. The guy that can actually execute on the great idea is the one that's going to make all the money. True or true? Raise your hand if you've ever had a great idea. We've all had a great idea. I had one on the right here this morning. Too. There you go. <laughs> there you go, Amy. Absolutely. So, anyway, you know. So, and, and again, so I, I, you know, so I'm, I'm like a, a walking testimonial now for Ira, because every single day I'll get 15 to 20 people that review my profile. Now, how many of you would like to have 20, 20 people every single day that are business owners and entrepreneurs and salespeople or whoever your demographic is? To be going to your LinkedIn page checking you out. Yeah. How many would like that? Yeah. I, I, I went from maybe five to seven random people a week because people are looking for, let's say, real estate investors, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And somehow, you know, the search engine inside of LinkedIn brings you up and they find you that way. 
right? So you can be bound, even though they're not necessarily looking for you. You may be bound, but if you wanted the right people to be finding you, the, the right way to do that is, 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 is to send out a message saying, hey, would you like to network? You're on this freaking platform. It's for business people to network. You open the networking. You go, well, I'm not really up to that right now. Well, then why the hell are you on LinkedIn? And, and because I have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people to reach out to right now, and I can only reach out to 50 to 75 a day, and even if I could reach out tomorrow, my calendar is so full now, it's crazy. It is. Because so many people say, yeah, let's have a coffee. Sure, let's meet up. Sure, Nick, what ideas do you have in mind? Blah, 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 blah. All of them, do all of them need, all of them are entrepreneurs. Sure, sure. Right. Do they know about networking groups I don't know about? Yes. Yes. Do they know about marketing systems I may not know about? Yes. Yeah, do they, do they know different organizations I may not know about? Yeah, I mean, they work for companies that maybe I can go in and speak to their employees. True, I mean, you don't know. You don't know all the different ways. The bigger your network is, the more you circulate, the more you percolate. True, true. Mm -hmm. You don't do a, you don't accomplish anything in your offices or in your home. You accomplish when you're communicating with other people. How many of you guys want to become financially free? Yeah. Okay, where's all the money going to come from that's going to create your freedom? Where's it coming from? What's the word? Yeah, so don't you think that, that if you understand the psychology of, of life, the psychology of how other people think, and you can make them feel good, and especially when you ask them this really, really important question, you should write this down. So let me ask you, let me ask you something, Sonia. How would I know if someone I'm talking to is the perfect prospect for you? How, I'll say it again. Sonia, how, how would I know if someone I'm talking to is the perfect prospect for you? I talk to dozens of people all the time. Maybe some of the people I'm talking to might be perfect for you. How would I know? Now, is that a good question to ask somebody? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. And even better, if you can actually send them a couple of good prospects, that's even better. Guess what? You think they want you on their side? Yeah, absolutely. Once they want you on their side, you may not even, they don't even know what you do. It doesn't matter at this point what you do. They know you, like you, and trust you, and it doesn't matter. They're going to tell everybody else how great on you. True, true. That's called networking. What's it called? Networking. And it's a system. What's it called? System. And over a weekend, I can teach you the system from A to Z and have it to be done. Yes, go ahead. How would, I know? How would I know if someone I'm speaking with would be the perfect prospect for you? Very often, people that go, anybody that's breathing. <laughs> I talk like insurance. Anything, anybody that's breathing. Okay, well, number one is, what do you know about a person that says that? They're not clear. Yeah. The more, the more targeted you are, the more you're focused on your market, and that market, it, I mean, it, 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 it may be just those people. You know, divorced men between 40 and 55, I'm sorry women, I'm sorry men, if you're, if you're not in that age range and, you haven't, and you're not divorced. Because I'm only going after divorced men between 40 and 55, but if you're in that category, listen up. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, absolutely. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to market only to, I got my niche, that's who, right? Right? Exactly, right? I mean, you know, and actually I'm, I'm, I'm stealing Scott's thunder because that's really, Scott is not here today, but, but that's really his niche. Divorced men between 40 and 55 that are entrepreneurial and want to get back on the right track. Maybe they've had success in the past, but if any of you guys have ever been through a divorce, I can tell you that from a financial point of view, it's pretty devastating. Most, most men who I know get divorced never recover. That, that's a fact. I, I, I've spent years as a financial planner and I thought over and over and over and over and over. Divorce is devastating to most men. Most women too, so it's not, it's not like it's one way. But the, from, from a financial point of view, divorce is, is really, really staggering. All right, so. Yeah. Can you for people that are listening 
that might think like, well, shoot, I don't know. Like, I don't know who my uh, target, uh, perfect target market is. Yes. You know, is there, um, so I know like for me when I was at Mojo, something that we did is we helped people figure that out. Yes. But like what for you, um, or like, I don't know if you know perhaps, perhaps how Scott came to that, or can you help people um, give them a little quick path of how they can get to that. Sure. Because like, like mine's very simple because I'm involved with vehicles. Yeah. So for me, it's anybody that has a driver's license, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so that's very simple for me. But for other people that might be listening, they might be like, well, that's, that's a real challenge. And that might be a real stumbling block for them. So I, I think that's a, that's a great, great question. Because at the end of the day, how many of you guys would love to be able to impact other people's lives? A few or a lot? A lot. A thousand? How about a million? How, how about five million? What about ten million? What about fifty million? What about a hundred million? What about a billion? How many would love to be able to impact that many lives? Okay, and how many of you also want to be entrepreneurs? So not only are you impacting lives, what's the definition of an entrepreneur? A problem solver for a profit. What's the word? A problem solver for a profit. In other words, the more problems you solve, the more profits you make. How many understand what I just said? Okay. The more problems you solve, the more profits you make. That's the entrepreneur. So if you're solving problems for, for 10 people, are you going to make a lot of money? No. No. If you're solving problems for 100 people, are you going to make more money? Yes. How about 1,000? Yes. How about a million? Yes. How about 10 million? Yes. How about 50 million? Yes. And then the more people that you impact with your blessings, the more money you make. Better good. That's good. good. Okay, so what, well, how much money do you guys want to make? All the money. Enough. Much as possible. But in other words, at some point there'll be enough people that have been blessed by your skills and by your talents and by your, your diamond. If you can stop at that point, nobody else needs to know it. No. If, you could, if, you could, if you're impacting 30 million and you know with more effort you could be impacting another 50, would you do it? Yes. Yeah, or, but then I would just have to give the money away. Right? I, I don't want the money. Yeah. Why? The more money you make, the more impact you can make. Why would there be a limit to how much you want to make? How many would agree? How many would agree? All right. So I mean, when I hear people say, "Well, you know, if I make ten thousand dollars a month, that's great." Okay. Is that why Bill Gates gives out a lot, a lot of his money away? He just has. You want most? What do you think most wealthy people do? They're uh, philanthropists. Yeah. Their their two greatest hobbies in life is making it and giving it away. Yeah. How would you like to be one of those people? The more you make, the more you can give away. And, and herein lies the problem. Most people can't make enough to support themselves, let alone worry about giving away to everybody else. Why? Because A, they're not in the right vehicle. B, RK stands for right the right knowledge. And RY stands for being the right you. Now going back to Amy's question, how many of you guys would love to wake up in the morning so passionate about what you're doing, you couldn't wait to get out of bed because you truly knew you were living your life's purpose. Yeah. Right? Okay. How many think, how many people do you think actually wake up every morning with that feeling? Not very many. Not very many. Why? What's stopping them? Why couldn't they? Fear. Why couldn't fear? Huh? What, what, why couldn't they be waking up every morning so excited to get out of bed, so excited about their life, their opportunities, their growth, everything. They're programming. They're programming? That's the sun. Otherwise, they're just not big enough. They don't have a vision. They don't have a vision? Yeah. yeah they don't like absolutely. their job. What's that? They don't like their job. They don't like their job. Exactly. Okay. So, so you know, one of the things that we taught at Peak Potentials, and I'm going to be, and you can buy this program. I'll give you the link if you want to buy it. You can, it's Harv, Harv Becker's program. It's the greatest program possible that answers Amy's question better than any other program I've ever, ever, ever known. It used to be called Life Directions when I was at Peak Potentials. Hard kind of reformatted it a little bit. And by the way, the, I have them on my phone. You can download them on your, I mean, you, you can have them on your computer, on your tablets. It's really amazing. And if you guys want to know it, it's now called Get Rich Doing What You Love. What's it called? Get Rich Doing What You Love. How many of you guys would like that? How many would like to get rich doing what you love? How many would rather get rich doing what you hate? How many would rather just not get rich at all? Right? Okay, so get rich doing what you love. So to answer Amy's question, how many of you would agree that when you were born into this world, 
you had some natural talents. You were just naturally good at something. Everybody, uh, is everybody's natural talents the same as everybody else's? No, no completely different. <laughs> if you really went back, you could begin to identify what were your natural talents. Now on top of that, what about your skills? Would you agree that, that, you, that there are certain skills you have that you're pretty good at? Right, how many agree that you, so some, and what's the difference between a skill and talent? One is learned and one is innate. Yeah, which one is learned? The talent is innate. The talent is innate and the, is and the skill is learned. Okay, so you can, you can learn a skill. So what, what do you naturally do that you love to do, that you're good at doing, that when you're doing it, you're kind of in a zone? How many understand when I say you're in a zone? You're vibrating at such a high level, it's like nothing else in the world really matters. You're completely, totally focused on what you're doing and you're loving every second of it. Raise your hand if you know what I'm talking about. Right? Okay, so, okay. So, if you're at that vibration all day long, every day, instead of using 3% of your creative thinking capacity, you might actually grow like the 10 or 15%. Which means that we're still not using like a fraction of what we're capable of using. How many would agree? We're not even using a fraction of our brain. Mm -hmm. So, so the whole idea is when, for, that, that to, to answer your question again is get rich doing what you love. Is what skills and talents do you have that you love, and what problem is out there in the marketplace? that your skills and talents would be able to solve their problem. And there has to, and if you thought about it long enough, you think you would find a segment of people out there that your natural skills and natural talents, you would find something that this group of people here really, really, really want, and you could solve it better than anybody else. And that then, now you have a combination of where was there a demand that my natural skills and my natural talents I can do. You understand what I'm talking about? You can't understand what I'm talking about. So you, in other words, you're doing something where you love doing it so much where even if you weren't getting paid, you'd love to do it anyway. Because you're good at it, people love the results they get from it, you're changing people's lives. Not only are you changing people's lives, but you're making lots of money. Very good. How many like that? How many like to be in that position where that's exactly what you're doing? You're changing lots and lots and lots of lives, and, not, and the more lives you change, the more money you make. By the way, is there anything wrong with that? No. Nope. Yeah, but you know, to a lot of programming, you know, a lot of people out there, it just, make, it just crawls inside them that how could you be talking about making money? You should just be giving it away. Why should you be making money? Raise your hand if you agree. Most of those people are poor. <laughs> they are. I'm not making I'm not making any money. They think small, they act small. If, if, if you're a person that the only thing you want is free, do you know what kind of people you're going to attract into your life? People that want free. Free. Welfare. You're going to attract people that want things for free. Mm -hmm. They don't see any value in paying any money for it. If it's not free, there's no value in it. True or true? true. That, that's it. So if you hang around with people that only want free, you will, you will, you will I guarantee you will surround yourself with the wrong people. True, true. Okay. So, so it, when you get, when you learn how to get rich doing what you love, you're the best of all worlds. Because every morning when you wake up, guess what you're doing? That's what you're doing. What you love. What you love. And all the parts of the business that you may not love, guess what? Outsource. You can outsource now. I'm going to tell you guys, how many of you guys have heard about the book, The 4-Hour Workweek? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's he saying? How many, hours, how many hours out of the week do you have to work? Four. 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 Okay. Do you think he started off day one working four hours a week? Or no. do you think after years and years and years and figuring it all out, then he finally got it down to four hours a week? Right. Do you think you're just automatically going to start out at four hours a week? No. no. Here's what I want to share with you guys and anybody that's watching. Screw the four hour work week. I want for you guys to be thinking the 400 hour work week. How long? 400. Now, how could you have a 400 hour work week? You love what you do. No, you First leverage system. time and people and systems. and. If I got 10 VAs yep. and each one is working 40 hours a week, 10 times 40 is how much? 400. If each one of them all 
day long were doing exactly what I wanted them to do. And I had ten of them doing it all day long, and they were pumping out so much massive action. What's the words? Massive action. action. What kind of results am I going to get? Instead of instead of being, having my calendar filled every day for the next month, I'd have my calendar filled every day for the next three months, and I'd say, I need salespeople. I can't handle all these calls. These are all people that know me, like me, and trust me, and I'm just going to say, hey, I want to introduce you to my associate, Tab. Tab's going to be able to take care of you. Now, Tab is going to close them, and he's going to make great commissions, hundreds of thousands of dollars through my sales guy. They're going to hire a whole team of sales guys, I'll teach you how to sell. The Xerox way. Oh, are you doing that right now? Then I would double as you could, right? Okay, but, <laughs> but, but I'm, I'm telling you guys that if you have the right vehicle and the right knowledge, and the most important is the right you. The right you. What's it, what is it? Right. Right, right you. And it's at the foundation. Where is it? Yeah. Foundation. foundation. It's the roots. What is it? The roots. The roots. Everything. What's the word? Everything. Everything. Starts and ends with the roots. You guys understand that? If you aren't committed, what's the word? Committed. Come on, twice it loud. Committed. If you aren't committed to constantly growing, strengthening, nurturing your roots, you will never, ever, ever be successful with these. Everybody is so busy looking for the right vehicle. True or true? What, what, what's the right business for me to get into? I'm going to get rich act fast, right? Everybody's looking for that, right? Everybody's looking for the right knowledge. Nobody's spending any time on the most important part. If you are programmed for failure, no matter what vehicle you get into, I can already predict what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Failure. Yeah. Until you reprogram yourself to be successful, it doesn't matter what you get into, you will not be successful. True or true? True. And everybody's so busy concentrating on this and this, they completely ignore this. So it doesn't matter if you're in real estate, it doesn't matter if you're in personal development, it doesn't matter if you're in, in you know, marketing, it doesn't matter what you're in. If you're a loser, you're still a loser. <laughs> you're just a loser doing needs. True, true. Yeah, true. You got to be the right person at the right place at the right time with the right knowledge. True, true. True. Okay, well, you know what? Most of you right now are not programmed to be that person. How many would agree? Because yeah. if you were that person, you'd already be there. True, true. Yeah. True. That's why if you're not committed, what's the word? Committed. 100% like BP is and a couple of others. But, but, and Jonathan, God bless you, and the whole Ponciano family for that matter. Look who's here. Ponciano. Beautiful. It, 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 warms, it warms my heart like you have no idea. It does. Because you know what? This, in my opinion, this, this is as, as precious a 90 minutes as you're going to get all week. I don't care what anybody says, because nobody else <coughs> talks about this stuff. Not the way we talk about it. True or true? true. true. We, they, we just don't get it. So, you absolutely need to be the right you. Now, what I want to do with the time that's remaining, is first of all, I want to do our declarations. How many of you guys have your declarations card? Woo! How many of you guys don't have it? Maybe you can share it. Okay, so you can share it. So let's do the declarations on the count of three. On the count of three, let's set up with some energy. One, two, and three. Woo! Woo! Put your hand on your chest. Okay, your chest, not her chest. Right. Okay, we're going to do the declaration. I commit, commit to, to my personal, personal development. development. Whatever, Whatever I do, I do it 100% or not, or not at all. How I do anything is how I do everything. I say what I mean and I mean what I say. I choose financial freedom and the lifestyle it provides. My goal is to create passive teams. I will have the skills of mindset and business. I will never give up and like see. I have a millionaire mind. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Tab. Let's go. You have a millionaire mind. Okay. All right. I got to go to the Okay. Have a seat, guys. Have a seat. Okay. Great, great job. Okay, so what we want to do right now is, is we're going to be talking about the, like the, 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 um, the genesis of really what made Harv Ecker and Deep Potentials the, the huge multi-million dollar business that it grew into. 
And and it, the name what's the name of the, his book? What's the name of his book? Secret 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 okay, and then he also had something called the MMI, which stood for Millionaire Mind Intensive. So the word million, millionaire keeps showing up. You guys notice that? Yes. Okay, because that's what everybody wants. Be yeah, so if you want to be a good marketer, you got to sell people what they want. True or true? Yeah. Do you sell them what they need or do you sell them what they want? Sell them what they want. Yeah, because do people buy what they want or what they need? Do people buy what they want, not what they need? Okay. So Harv being the genius marketer that he is, and by the way, he is a genius marketer, he realized that the more, the most important thing was becoming the right people. He knew this. But he also knew that he said, well, I want you to come to the peak potential and I'm going to turn you into the right you. People didn't want to learn how to be the right you. They want to learn how to make a million bucks. So which would you rather spend your money on? Going to an event to learn how to become the right you or going to an event learning how to make a million bucks? Going to an event to learn how to make a million bucks. How many of you would rather go to an event that, that, that teach, that's going to be talking about how you're going to learn how to make a million bucks versus learning how to become a better you? Yeah. Everybody. Okay, as a marketer, you got to sell people what they want and then, and then give them what they need. So hard, like reading this book, this is what he knows everybody wants. Everybody wants a millionaire mind, because even if you lose all your money, if you still have a millionaire mind, can you get it back? Yeah. Yeah. Raise your hand. How many would like to know that even if you lost all your money, you could get it all back and more in a short period of time? Because even though you may have lost all your money, you, you never lost the most important ingredient to your success, which was your millionaire mind. Yeah, how many would like to have that millionaire mind? Okay. Part of having that millionaire mind, in my opinion, is learning to appreciate a few things and becoming great at them. One of them is creating an ultimate network. An ultimate what? Network. Yeah. Now, Harv also understood one huge thing. He said, there was this book called The Millionaire Next Door. Raise your hand if you've ever heard there was a book called it, right? written by Stanley. And, 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 and what he said was, he did research of all the self-made. So what kind of millionaires were they? Self-made. Yeah, they didn't inherit it. They figured out how to make it on their own. Went all across North America, interviewed all these self-made millionaires. And you know what he discovered? There's lots of statistics in the book and yada yada. I mean, if you want to read it, it's pretty cool. But the most important thing was he said that there were different ethnic groups, so some had handicaps, some were, seemed to be really smart, others seemed to be like pretty dumb, actually. You know, there were older people, younger people, every color, every creed. So there were a lot of things that weren't common. But there was one thing that all these self-made millionaires had in common. One thing. You know what it was? The money management system. Yes. They all had a system. What's the word? System. system. Come on, twice it loud. System. system for managing their money that allowed them to become financially free. They had a system. What did they have? A system. A system. And everybody else doesn't. Now, Harv says, if you want to become financially free, guess what you need to learn to master? System. Well, not only money. that. Money. money that's a word. Money. 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 Everyone want to become financially free. You, if you're not even managing the money you've got right now, there's no chance you're going to get any more. And chances are right now, if I sat down with each one of you and they said, well, let's go through how you're currently managing your money. How much comes in? What do you do with it? How do you manage it? What do you invest it? What are you putting into your long term? Let's give it up for Corey, guys. So. If you, if you want to become financially free, then what is one area you must master? Your money. money. You must, how many, how many would agree that in our society, money is important? Yes. Does anybody think money is not important? Do you have anybody here that thinks money is not important? Everybody agrees money is important. The only people I, that I hear that say, well, money is not that important, they're broke. I've never heard anybody who's rich or anybody who has some say money's not important. Yeah. The only one then, that, and the reason they say money's not that important is because they work like heck to make it themselves and they fail, so now they need to justify it. Very good. True. Yeah, who wants to choose to be poor? Do you think most people that are poor chose to be poor? No. Nope. Yeah. They chose it. They sabotage themselves. Really, is that what they really want? 
Well, you know what? You get what you really want. So I guess that's what they really must want. And that's because of their pro program. So Harv says, if you want great fruits, you have to create great roots. How many would agree? And your money management system needs to be paramount. It needs to be the foundation upon which everything else you do in your life revolves around. It's the foundation. What is it? The foundation. These, these are the most important roots in your life. And your parents didn't plant those seeds and those roots, and your teachers sure as hell didn't, and your friends damn well didn't, and the media definitely didn't, and all the advertisers out there that talk to all of us to be consumers certainly didn't. Our roots, we need to dig them out and throw them away and plant brand new roots. How many would agree? We need new roots, right? Especially when it comes to managing money and our attitudes about managing money. You know, uh, in, in, in Wealth File, was it 13? 14. 14. 14. In Wealth File 14, you know, uh, you know Harv, Harv says, you know, there's lots of people that say, well, I don't have any money to manage. As soon as I get some money, I'll start managing it. Yeah, yeah that's kind of like, you say, well, as soon as I lose 20 pounds, I'll start dieting and exercising. Right? It's like putting the cart before the horse. True or true? True. Right? true. If you were going to be in a bowling tournament, when would be the best time to start practicing your bowling? Right now. At the tournament or as soon as possible? As soon yeah. as possible. Yeah. Wouldn't you want to prepare now so that when they came up, you would be good for it? Great right hand, right? Yeah. So if you came into a lot of money and you don't know how to manage it, what are you going to do with it? Spend it. So, so what Harv says is this. The habit. What's the word? The habit. habit of how you manage your money is more important than the amount. It's the habit that's important. What's the word? The habit. habit. Come on, what's the word? The habit. habit. Yeah, it's the habit on how do you manage your money. And most people's habit is how. The word is haphazard. Let me hear you. Haphazard. And guess what kind of money results they get? Haphazard. Haphazard results. Isn't that a shame? Okay. When would be a good time for you to plan brand new roots in the whole area of managing your money? When would be the best time? Right now. Right now. Okay, all right. So, you know, the thing is, the talk is cheap, church or church. Because I hear it over and over again. Everybody tells me all the time, oh, yeah, I'm going to make a change. And within three days, maybe they last the three days, and then they're back to their old ways. True or true? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Because the subconscious programming is deep. That's right. That's why you need to come back here every week. Because within a week, you know how much you've forgotten? Within a day. Within a day? That's why there used to be a time when I did 20 minute street smart success calls from 7 to 7.20. You guys remember that? Yeah. I did over 900 calls from 7 o'clock to 7.20. We used to see the Napoleon Hill prayer every single day. Oh, universe. I ask not for more riches, but for more wisdom. What's the word? Wisdom. How many of you guys want more wisdom in your life? How many believe that there's a lot of wisdom out there that if you had it, boy, it would change your life forever? Yeah. Yeah. So you're not asking for more riches, you're asking for more what? Wisdom. Yeah. With which to make wiser use of the riches you gave me at birth, consisting in the power, what's the word? Power. power. To control and direct my own mind towards any, what is it, towards any ends I, end I desire. Thank you. I drew a blank. That, that is such a powerful prayer. We, for 900... 900 weekdays in a row, every single day, well, that's how we ended it. Go ahead, Jonathan. Uh, the replay is still available. Yeah, the replay is still available, absolutely. And because you know what? Okay. You know what I discovered? 90 minutes once a week is not going to get you where you need to go. You need a lot more than that. You need to get into that vibrational energy every single day. How many would agree? How many would agree that when we're here, we're all masterminding, we get into certain vibrational energy? Raise your hand if you agree. How many would agree you need to be able to get into that energy daily? Yeah. Not just once a week, but daily, right? So my thinking was, well, if we could do something from 7 to 7.20 in the morning, we get everybody up, we get, I talk about one concept, 20 minutes is not a long time, so, but in 20 minutes, you know, it was a chance to pat yourself on the back for showing up, right? and to get into the routine, get into the habit, every single day of investing that 20 minutes in yourself. Is that a valuable 20 minutes? Yes. yes. Yeah, is that a great investment in yourself? Yes. It's totally a great investment in yourself. So what Harv said is this, he said, look, if you're going to be the right you, 
the foundation that you're going to build it on is you're going to become great at managing your money. money. Right? Managing your money. Now, managing your money are not the same skills it takes to make money, earn money. By the way, I shouldn't say make, right? The, the printing, you know, the, the U.S. You know, was it? The U.S. Treasury prints money. We earn money. What do we do? Earn, earn money. money. Yeah, we exchange value. We exchange value, right? That's what we're in the business of exchanging value. Our goods and services in exchange for money, right? That's it's a, it's a value exchange, sure, sure. Okay. And, and our, our belief has to be, and it really should be, that you're going to give me five hundred dollars, but I'm going to give you two thousand dollars of value. Everybody wins. I'm glad to get the five hundred bucks. You're thrilled to get two thousand dollars of value. Who won? Everybody. And everybody won, right? Because you're delivering real what? Value. What's the word? Value. Yeah, so you can feel good in your heart and your soul that you're doing what's in the best interest of your customer. True or true? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I want all of you guys truly to be street smart with a heart. And it's to be with a heart. Heart. With a heart, right? Yeah. Because we're dealing with other human beings. True or true? Yeah. yeah, and you know what? If you can reach them at the heart level, you got them. Mm -hmm. You know how you reach them at the heart level? Just be a genuinely nice person that knows how to ask the right question and become a great listener. Does that kind of sound a little bit like what we taught at the sales training program? Yes. It's, that, it's the same way to be a great networker. If I ask you a feel-good question, and we talk for 20 or 30 minutes, and I said, wow, Sonny, that is so awesome, tell me more. That is great, tell me more. What's the number one thing people love to talk about more than anything? Themselves. Yeah, Themselves. And, if you, and if you are a great listener, and you encourage them to tell more, Guess what they think about you? They love you. Yep. Yeah, you, and you know, there's an expression, you never get a second opportunity to make a first impression. It's very true. Mm -hmm. Do you want your first impression to be like ass kicking phenomenal? Mm -hmm. Do you think you can intentionally, do you think you can intentionally make your first impression with every person you meet absolutely phenomenal? Yes. Yeah. Because you intentionally had a system, what's the word? System. system. Come on, twice as loud. System. system. Yeah. You intentionally had a system to know how to, how to be such a genuinely nice person that people really got to know you, like you, and trust you. And they said, boy, Tim, you know, I got, I've got 85 people in my group. I'm gonna tell them that they gotta get all their stuff done through you. Please do. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, that's called a personal influence. What's it called, a personal influence? Okay, are there people of influence out there? Yeah. How many would you like to know? How many of them would you like to actually have them know you like you and trust you? So if you call them, they'd actually pick up the phone and talk to you. Yes. How many? How many would like that? Yes. Okay. How many of those people would you like to have in your network? As many as possible. Yeah. Okay. So it's called networking. What's the last part? Networking. 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 What's the word? Working. Working. What's the word? Networking. 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 You are working. Yep. It's work. It's work. Now, do you think most people have a clue how to network? No. 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 But you know what? I'm going to create a weekend where we're all going to practice networking, and by the time that weekend is over, you guys will be the ultimate networkers. How many would love to become an ultimate networker? It's not the same thing as selling. Selling and networking are two different things. Now, if, for example, Denise said to somebody she knew, well, I know this guy, Jeff, and Jeff is the greatest coach. And if you're looking for a great coach, I would really encourage you to talk to Jeff. So now you're referring to someone that you know to me because of my professional services. So I'm not going to necessarily network with that person the same way I would with someone. I'm just meeting for the first time. I met Tim online on LinkedIn. Right? I say, Tim, man, I saw your profile. Really cool. You're living in Phoenix. You seem like-minded like me. Love to network with other serial entrepreneurs just like me. You cool to hook up? And you write back, sure, Jeff, let's meet for a coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay, well here's, here's where 98% of all the people fail. You know, when someone says, sure Jeff, let's meet up for coffee, do you know what their follow up is? No. None. <laughs> they don't follow up because they don't know what to do. Okay, I'm going to meet them for a coffee, what am I going to tell them? <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to talk about? Uh -huh. you know? Just I don't know. You know, I, this is a stranger. You know, he said yes, what do I do now? True or true? True. We don't like to sell, we don't like to network. You know, all of a sudden, oh shit, that, you know, what, what do we do? I, I was in San Diego when, for, for a month vacation when I started, and I had all these people saying, yeah, Jeff, saw your profile, would love to hook up, see how we can, how we can collaborate together. How many people like that would you like to have every day that you don't know, that are business owners, 
sales professionals, entrepreneurs saying, I saw your profile, let's meet up. How many people, how many of you would like to have your calendar filled with those kinds of people? Yeah. Raise your hand if you'd like to have that. Okay, so what, what I was writing back to all these people every day was, hey, I'm in San Diego for the month on vacation, I'll get back to you when they get back, is that cool? And everybody would say, sure. Well, by the time I got back from San Diego, I had like about 130 people to get back to. Wow. You had a lot of coffee. What's that? You had a lot of coffee. Um, you know, <laughs> and, 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 and so now I was backlogged with all these people that said, sure, Jeff, let's meet up for a coffee. I had 130, how many of you would like to have 130 people that, that said, Denise, I saw your profile, would love to have a cup of coffee with you, see how we might be able to network with you. Yeah, absolutely. How many, raise your hand if you like that. So, you know, I, I thank Ira, I, I, I thank you for, for you know, getting it, because Ira and I are having so much fun with this. Yeah. Right? And, and I mean, it, it, the results have been so through the roof, I am now a product of the Product. I can tell you, I can show you the reports I get every single day from my, my virtual assistant. Here's how many people I reached out to in this category. Here's how many people responded. You know, and, and I can go to my LinkedIn page. Like I guarantee you right now, since we got here, seven to ten new people have accepted my invitation to, to join their network. And they're either, they all live in Phoenix. They're all business owners or sales professionals or entrepreneurs or business owners or founders, the kinds of people I want to be hanging out with. And then and I'll but I have at least three messages that say, sure, Jeff, let's meet for a coffee. How many would like that? Now, if you know how to network, if you don't know how to network, you'll blow it. And a lot of people that I think use our system is they get the, the people coming in, but they don't really know how to how to deal with the people once they get it. Yeah, that was that was That's a, a big problem. Well, I don't want to call it a problem because it, it's not. Because like you said earlier, so for some people it's not in their nature. Yeah. But it's definitely a skill that can be taught. Yes. But a lot of them what they do is they get frustrated and instead of learning that they're not the right you and they pick up <laughs> those skills they get upset and they blame the vehicle. Yes. They, yeah, and, they, and what it is is that's conversion. Yes. And that's a whole different thing. Yes. And, and that's and their challenge. That's and they right. need to overcome it. And so the, the leads are there. And then like you said, if you just look at it as networking instead of a sale. Thank you. Yeah. That, I, you, you took the, you know what, thumbs up. That, exactly right. If you look at LinkedIn as a, as a place to network, there may be a sale in there, and there may not be a sale in there, and that's perfectly okay too, because you're a genuinely nice person looking for other like-minded people. Because I will point out for anybody listening that doesn't know about the system, um, just to make it clear, um, it really works really, really, really well for B2B. And for people that don't know what that is, that's business to business. Yeah. And so like for me, for instance, I'm, I'm business to consumer. Yeah. And, and so I have all kinds of connections in there. I'm an all-star. I have over a thousand people follow me. I don't know why they're following me. Follow me to where is a mystery. Because, I, I mean, I'm not in there to attempt to help them get a vehicle. Right. But what I can do is attempt to help them. Yeah. So for knowledge, for education, for people to be able to rely on me as a resource. Absolutely. But it's, it's not as effective for me because I'm B2C. But for anyone listening that's B2B, then if they're not on LinkedIn, they're missing the, just missing the boat. And, and, and quite honestly, you know, even, even if you're selling to consumers, when you're on LinkedIn, maybe I, maybe you and I are not going to do business with each other. I don't need what you sell. You don't need what I sell. But we're talking. You say, oh yeah, I use this marketing strategy. And boy, let me show it to you. It works great. I said, well, you know what, Denise? I could use your strategy with what I'm doing, or vice versa, mm -hmm. right? So you don't know when you're talking with someone how you can help each other. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is the more you talk to someone, they might say, oh, I belong to this really, really great networking group. They meet once a month. It costs $25 to go. Here's their format. I go every single month. Mm -hmm. There's always 75 to 100 really great people you should definitely go to. And you don't know about it until you talk to somebody and they tell you. Mm -hmm. right. Now, whether or not you go is up to you. But the more you're networking, the more you're going to find out about, you know, what's going on out there. You know, or someone say, oh, I belong to this group. They always need a speaker. You speak? Oh, boy, we, it's okay if I have my speaker coordinator contact you because we need speakers for our events. What's that stuff going to happen? The, the more busy you get, the luckier you get. True, true. Yeah, I mean, you know. So one of the things was is, you know, I learned the lesson that 
I came back to Phoenix. I'm so overwhelmed with so many people that have re I've reached out to that said, yeah, Jeff. And, and I mean, it, I, I, I literally do not have the time to get back to everybody. It's almost like I have to turn the faucet off for a while just so I can work through all the people that I already have in my database. But, but to me, what I have found is how few people, even when I write to them and say, wow, you know, Amy, great to, great to meet you here. Thanks, thanks for you know, offering to have a coffee. Why don't you let me know some days and times uh, in the next couple of weeks that you're available, we'll set it up. Mm -hmm. And you know what their follow-up, what percentage of people follow up to my, to my comment? Probably not many. No. People don't follow up. They don't. They, I mean, 99.9% .9 of all the people I meet, I can tell you right away within, within a few days of meeting them why they pay. They, they have so many bad, they have so many not doing habits. And one of the biggest not doing habits is following up. So if I have 150 people and, and, and I send them a message say, hey, I'm back in town now, let me know some days and times and you know, I'll get them on my calendar, and I don't hear back from them, that's another 150 people I need to get a hold of again just to keep pestering them until they're either going to do one of two things. And I'm not going to be really pestery, like I'm not going to do it like every day. Mm -hmm. But so, you know, after if a week goes by or 10 days goes by and I haven't heard, you say, hey Amy, just a reminder, you know, we, we you know, I'd love to, I saw your profile, you look like an amazing person, I'd love to have a coffee with you, just let me know when. So, so, you know, the whole idea is it can become very, very, very time consuming. Mm -hmm. Very time consuming. That's why, his, I was all you know, done for you service. Basically, you just look on your calendar and you say, oh, there are seven people that are on my calendar that have seen my profile on LinkedIn, got a phone call from my, my, my associate who, who's a, actually part of the team, and they are an appointment set. How many of you like to have an appointment set? Mm -hmm. They set the appointment for you, right? They say, you know, Denise asked me if I could call you. And, um, you know, Denise is super, super busy, but she's really excited about, about talking with you. She loved your profile on LinkedIn. And her calendar is completely filled up for the next month. She's great at what she does. And, you know, people just love her. But, you know, if there's some way I could free up uh, uh, 20 minutes, either like at 2 o'clock or 4 o'clock tomorrow, do you think you might be able to make that call? Yes or no? And very often, you know, people go, I can't do it tomorrow, but maybe the day after. Okay, let me, I'll, I'm going to rearrange Denise's schedule. So that we'll put you in for 10 o'clock on Wednesday. That works for you, right? Okay. And this email address, we're going to send you an email with a link so that you'll know exactly all the information you need to know to prepare for the call. Right? And, and is this your cell phone? Yes. So we'll send you a text message an hour before just to remind you again so you don't, you know, because you want, you want people to show up, right? How many, right. Of you, how many believe that people don't show up for meetings? Right. Yeah. Okay, so if you want, you want the show up rate to be as high as possible, right? Yeah. So guess what? Our system makes sure that the show up rate is as good as possible. It's all automated. What is it? Automated. Yeah, you have to think this stuff through or he's already done all the thinking for you. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, you know what? Denise has a three-minute video. So what does Denise have? Three-minute three minute video. Yeah, that, you know, that pretty much explains a lot about where Denise you know, invests her time and her expertise is. If I send you the link, you think there's a good chance you'd be able to watch the video before you get on the call with the news? What do you think most people will say? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, they hang up, here comes this email, you're going to be talking with Denise at 2 o'clock tomorrow, it's on Denise's calendar, here's the link for the video, now there's this really cool professional looking video, and Denise looks like a superstar in this video, and, and you say, holy geez, wow man. What do you think about Denise before you even talk to her on the phone? Superstar. What do you think? Impressed. Okay. Now, how would you like it if all you did all day long was talk to those people that are on your calendar? Mm -hmm. How many would like that? If you knew what to say, right? If you knew what to say, how many of you would like to have that? It's called it's called a marketing fund. What's it called? Marketing fund. Yeah, actually, it's called a marketing system. What's it called? The marketing marketing system. system. And if you don't have a marketing system, you don't have a business. If you don't have a way, see, every single day, I know I'm meeting new people. The right kinds of people. Every day. I don't even have, I know what's going on right now while I'm here talking to you guys. I know that's happening. Brand new, fresh new people, exactly the kinds of people that you would find. Or if my, my prospects aren't your prospects, you can hand select. If, if I, I, you know, if I was friends with Tony Robbins, I could say, 
I want, I want to send out an email to all the people on, on, on LinkedIn that are also friends with Tony Robbins. Who? Oh. You know, and who's, who's like the number one guy in Phoenix? Who's like a guy who has a big database of people here in Phoenix? Jeff Pagan. Estate, thank you. Name a real estate guy. Who's a big real estate guy? Clever here? investor. What's that? Clever investor. Clever investor? Is, is there a name? Cordy Sperber. Okay, so you could go on LinkedIn and you say, I want to send a message out to, what's it, Tony Sperber? Cody Co okay. Sperber. So, Cody? Cody Sperber. Just Cody. Okay, so, uh, Cody. Okay. so I, want to send, I want to send an invitation on LinkedIn to all the people that Cody's connected to. Because if they're connected to Cody, I want to be connected with them. They're my kind of people. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Guess what? You could do that. You can hand select who you want to reach out to. And it's a networking platform. Should people be offended with if you reach out and say, I'd like to network with you? Mm. No, but some people are. I've had some real weirdos, trust me. When you reach out, no, 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 I'm telling you, I've had some scary, scary, scary people. Yeah. And you've got to be prepared for that. Yeah. If you reach out to thousands of people, you're going to be, you think there may be a few nuts in there? Oh, yeah. I'm serious. I'm serious. Or, or people that just are having a bad day, bad week, bad month, bad year, bad life. Yeah. And they're going to let you know all about it. Yeah. I guarantee you, the more you reach out, that's why you got to be a warrior. You it can't let that bullshit slow you down one second. I know people that they get one, one asshole that says the wrong thing to them and boom, they're dead in their tracks. That's it. I don't want to have to deal with that anymore. The best way to not deal with that anymore is just quit what I'm doing. Then I won't have to deal with that anymore. True, true. Yeah. If you want to get to the top of the mountain, you're always going to have to o overcome obstacles and challenges. Yeah. And one of the obstacles and challenges are stupid people. Yes. <laughs> there are a lot of them out there. Rude, stupid, ignorant people. Yes. And, they're, and, and, and the more success you have, I guarantee you, the more haters you will have. Yeah. It goes hand in hand. People don't like, some people are envious that you're having success and they're not and you don't deserve it. They're a better person than you are. Sure, true. Sure. Sure. Is that your programming? Yep. The sure as hell is. Were you going to say something, Amy? Yeah, I was just going to let people know that are listening that are thinking like, oh, I don't know about this appointment set or thing. The, um, the, reason, the, the reason there's so much value there that you might not understand is that, um, so let's say it's Denise, right? And if a, if a third person calls up and says to me, you know, oh, Denise got your message. She, she cared so much about it. She's, you know, got back-to-back -back appointments, but she wanted me to reach out for her to you. Yeah. And, yeah. And so that's that, powerful. that third-party proof, that person third edifying party. her in terms of being a professional, she can afford an assistant and appointment setter. Yep. But also saying, you know, like she was telling me about your conversation and that you want you wanted to get together and she wants to get together. So now there's that other person involved. Yeah. You know? And so for people that are thinking like, oh, I don't see the value, or I'll just do it myself, while you're busy doing that, you could be doing other things that have a higher return on your time and your energy, yeah. and making money, earning money, versus like spending time. And yeah. so for anybody that's like, uh, on the fence about that, you really have to perhaps sit down with somebody that can help you do the math on where your time is going and where your energy is going versus paying somebody that uh, and, and by the way, when we go get these VAs, a lot of people think, oh, they're going to have maybe a thick foreign accent or um, they're going to have a weird name or whatever. And so you can, you, that's not true. That's a story in your head. You can get somebody um, that, I mean, nobody knows they're in the Philippines. Nobody, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, it, 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 it's been total gold for me. Yeah. And, 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 and you know, and, and, and the best part of it is that I didn't do the total done for you service because it forced me when people said, well, what'd you have in mind? I had to figure out, well, what would you say to someone? And they said, well, what'd you have in mind, right? Or, you know, and so, so for me, and then I said, well, okay, so now I'm gonna meet with them. What's my strategy once I meet with them? Mm -hmm. I wanna have my strategy in place mm -hmm. so that they're gonna get to know me, like me, and trust me. I'm gonna know exactly the feel-good questions to ask. I know exactly, you know, the, the best way to move the, the, the conversation forward. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna miss, look for opportunities to serve them if I know anybody that I can refer to them. Because one of the best things you can do is give somebody a referral. Right. If, I, if I gave Sonia a referral, I just met her, and I gave her a referral, You're man, I, I'm in with Sonia. 
You're golden. Yeah, and Sonia wants, wants to know me as well as possible. Because how many people do you have out there that are actually bringing you business? Why well, have a lot. <laughs> how many of you would like to have a bunch of people bringing you business? Because yeah, I've trained them. Okay, yeah. now what, 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 if, what if I could, I, 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 I met Sonia and, 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 and we became good friends. She really, really liked me. I really, really liked her. I thought she had great energy. She's a wonderful person. She was really very professional about what she did. And now, Sonia, out of the hundreds of people that she knows, 25 of them are perfect like for the 2% club and coming to this kind of trainings and learning this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, out of the hundreds and hundreds of people, me and Sonia, we're gonna work on her, her 25. And once we, get, once we get to talk to those 25, and, and let's say 12 of those 25 say, you know what, if Sonia's in it and Jeff's in it, I wanna be in. Okay, now we've got those people, guess, guess, those 12 people, guess who they have? 250 friends. Mm -hmm. And now we work through them, and we just keep moving down the line. Right. It's endless. What's the word? Endless. endless. Yeah. How many want an endless referral system? Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. and then you need to become good at, the, at the networking. Mm -hmm. Then you have endless referrals. You don't know how that referral might be a benefit to you. But you're not worried so much at the beginning. In fact, you should never worry so much about how they're going to benefit you as much as first, how can you benefit them? Because people won't care how much you know until, and it's really true. Street smart with a heart. When you can get into their hearts, you've got them. True or true? Okay, do you think most people in business think that way? No, they're looking to make a sale. True or true? true. You're going to be street smart with a heart. Street smart with a heart. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, you know, again, you, what we focus on expands. If yes. you focus on becoming street smart with the heart, guess what you will become? Street smart, smart with the heart. heart. And, and I will tell you that, you know, for me, the greatest thing is when you have a marketing system that works. Because then you go to, I don't have to wonder if I'm gonna be meeting new people next week, next month, next year. Right now, I've grown my database on LinkedIn like to 2,400 people. And, and if I say, how many second level, in other words, people I don't know, people that, the people that I do know, they know all these other people, that are second level people that live in Phoenix, Arizona on LinkedIn, it's like 287,000 people. And how many of them either have sales in their, in their uh, business title, or founder, or business owner, or professional, or entrepreneur, mm -hmm. it's in like, 35 to 40,000 people. So am I gonna run out of people, new people to me? No. And are certain percent gonna say, yeah, man, let's meet for a coffee. Let's just see how we might be able to network together. True, true. Yeah. yeah. And you know what, I, and, and you know what, from that, good things happen. Rich, I believe that's true. So if, if you want, you t come and talk to me about, about LinkedIn, because I'm telling you that if you're serious about making a lot of money in a short period of time, that money comes from other people. And the, and the sooner you connect with influencers, Joe, look, Joe, you connect with three or five, three or four or five influencers, your sales problems are history, man. You just need to know how to network properly. How many would agree? You know, BP talks about it. What does he do? Network. Smokes, pots, <laughs> networks. True, true. Uh, and, and swears, right? Yeah. I don't want to leave that out because he'd get pissed off at me, right? That's what he does. Yep. Yeah, he, he smokes pot, he swears, and he networks, and he's great <laughs> at it, right? And, and look at the results he's had, true, true. They, they love him. him. They love him, right? Absolutely, right? Never course, never. But of course, that's what he does now, because what a lot of people don't know is back when he was like, Door knocking and like well, yeah, he paid his dues. Yeah, I mean, it's you're you're seeing the you're seeing the fruits. <laughs> Absolutely. And he, but he definitely and he, he still he comes grew. and works on those roots. And he's oh. really, yeah, and he always gives you credit for that. And always says, "I'm here with my mentor. It's Tuesday morning." Yeah, and so I think that's really I think that's the coolest part about it is that the people that are seeing those roots right now, if if you pay attention to him every Tuesday morning, that he is in the state of Arizona, that he he's be here. sitting here. Yeah. He's taking his notes. He says, "I'm here with Jeff Fagan." Yeah. And, and this is, and it was, you know, now we forget. You don't forget, but other people don't see that, you know. But to, to, to see how far BP has come from when I first met him, it, it's like it, it's total transformation. But he, he committed. What's the word? He committed. Yeah. He committed. He said, you know, I, I see how important this is. I see I didn't get it when I was a kid growing up. I see how much it impacts my life. I just need to hear it again and again and again. 
And even though I've heard Jeff say it a million times, I need to hear it a million and one times. Because every time we hear it, it may be the same words, it may be the same message, but you're not the same you. Right? How many would agree? You're not the same you. We're constantly evolving. And you know what was true for us yesterday may not be true for us today and may be totally false for us tomorrow. It's very true. true. And we have to open to changing our belief system, and especially when it comes to managing our money. We're, we're beyond time. So, so let's give it up for Tim, our videographer. <laughs> and Tim, if you would, I'm going to say goodbye to all of our friends on Facebook. So namaste. Thank you guys for showing right, up.